What is going on guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a crane with a head that is also a crane. <laughs> so, yeah, this is literally a crane with a crane as its head. This is a crane-headed crane. One sheet of paper. This model's hilarious, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. It's not too bad to make, but please use thin paper or you will have a rough time. This is, this Kami is like, I don't even know, 18 inch or something like that. 20, 25 inch, 25 inch Kami. And it was, it was relative, it wasn't that bad, but it ripped a little bit. Um, but it, it turned out well, it turned out well. So I'm using the book, uh, Outside the Box Origami. <laughs> and if you can see on the cover, it is literally <laughs> two hands folding outside of a box. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, definitely check this book out in the description, it's pretty funny. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so step one, you're going to want to start with the white side up. So like this, um, and we're going to fold, let's fold the diagonals first. So the corner to corner, both sides. So now we're going to fold our paper into thirds. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to get a ruler, measure your paper. So I'm going to measure in centimeters. It is 25 centimeters. That does not divide by three very well. Let's try inches. Um, no, that's no better. All right, 25 divided by three. Uh, that's going to be it's going to be 8.3. It's going to be 8.3 centimeters. So now we just, we're going to mark, we're going to mark 8.3 centimeters. It's about there. Okay. And now I'm just going to fold at that mark. Now, before I crease all the way, I'm just going to make sure my measurement was correct. So we're, again, we're folding in the third. So one, two, three. I fold it like this. This is like two thirds and this is one third. So this one third should overlap correctly. And look at that, it does. Well enough at least. So I'm gonna fold all the way across. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video <laughs> saying how to fold the paper in the thirds. Although I just told you, but you know, you know what I mean. Now we're gonna unfold and we're gonna fold this edge to the crease we just made. And that is going to complete our thirds journey for now. Look at that. It's not like literally perfect, but it's pretty close, pretty close. All right, uh, now we are going to rotate the paper and we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to fold it into thirds, but this way. Um, but we can use the diagonals this time. So you have two intersection points, one here and one here, and we're going to fold a crease through them uh, to get one of the thirds. There we go. Yeah, never fully crease until you are 100% sure your paper is lined up. Okay, and same thing, we're just gonna fold the bottom edge to the crease we just made. Awesome, so now we have a grid, a three by three grid. Uh, for the next step, we are going to flip it over. 
pick a corner, any corner, and we're going to we're going to fold this corner um, onto. So we're going to fold the corner onto the center line, and the crease it creates is going to go through this point. So that looks like this. Okay, unfold and flip it back over. Now we have we have this crease, right? And we're going to use it. We're going to use it to collapse the uh, model. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, to do this step, we're just going to take this section and this section and fold it into the center like this. And we can finally collapse this part like this. Squash that part. It's the caricature. And I'm just making sure everything's aligned. Oh, lined up. All right. There we go. Next step, we are going to fold this top flap, this corner, to the top, like that. Crease all the way through. Be careful not to rip your paper on these two corners. All right, and we have this. Now we're going to unfold everything except this part. So it'll look like this. Okay. Um, flip it over. And with this in the bottom left or wherever, we're going to fold this edge to this crease and we're going to fold this edge to this crease. side and unfold both and flip it back over awesome now we're gonna collapse it again now we're gonna collapse it again same idea same idea so we're gonna mount and fold here mount and fold here we already made those creases and we're gonna take this edge and this edge and just fold them to the center, okay? Just fold them to the center, you'll get this. This is what you'll get. This thing looks just up. Now we can open this flap and collapse it. Again, very similar to what we did before. Just like that. All right, uh, so now we are going to do a sort of squash fold on this center part. Um, so we, we have to make two pre-creases first. One is going to be folding this um, edge crease thing to the center, and the other is folding this edge to the center. So let's do that. Fold it to the center like this. Crease and unfold. And now this one, fold it to the center like this. Crease it and unfold. All right, so with those two creases made, now we can easily just uh, do this next step, which is collapse it or squash it or something like that, okay? And now we're gonna take this flap, open it up um, and squash it. Okay. Paper's getting kind of thick. It's getting kind of thick, but that's all right. I don't think it. No, no, it does get worse than this. <laughs> all right, so you should have something like this, and I'm gonna take the time to zoom in now, so you guys can just see this. So we're gonna be working on this area. Uh, now we're just going to simply pedal fold this part. So if you don't know how to do that, um, fold this edge up 
and the two side edges in. And if you do all that at the same time, relatively same time, the paper's getting really, really uh, thick though, so it's a little bit difficult to fold, but that's all right. Hopefully you used uh, large paper. Okay, so um, folding the edge in should look like that. And I'm gonna do this one now. That's, and all collapsed, all said and done. It's gonna look just like this. Just like this. All right, uh, so now, now we are going to, now we're gonna unfold this outer layer. So unfold what you just did, unfold this petal fold, and we have this, we have this, right? So we're going to, we're gonna take this flap and just like undo it like that. So now we have this and we can just, uh, we can just collapse it again, but kind of like in a different way. We're using the using the creases we've already made, but we're collapsing it. it it'll turn, it'll end up like this now. Okay, it'll end up like this. So we had this, or yeah, we, we had, we had this, right? and we're just collapsing it with the creases we already have. So we'll have this and now open this up and squash it to get to get this. All right. Um Now, uh just fold it kind of like a crane. <laughs> I hope you know how to make a crane if you're making this model, but if you don't, that's kind of hilarious. Uh so fold this up and fold the edges in, kind of like the bird, well exactly like the bird base. There we go. Okay, and this is the, um, this is good. This is what this is what you should have. Uh, and now we need to unfold literally everything, <laughs> because and I'm not joking, because uh, these were just pre creases. But do do not fret, do not worry. We will we will put it back together shortly. Um, but this is what the square. The crease. This is what the creases will look like. All right, now I'm gonna zoom back out so you guys can actually see it. There we go. So let's put it back together. First things first, we are going to use this crease, these two mountain folds, and these two valley folds. And we're just going to kind of collapse it like this. So like this, and we can collapse it just like that. We're gonna have this uh, this slap right here with a lot of creases. Okay. Now we are going to use this crease and this crease and also these two alley folds. And we're just going to squash it down like this. All right. I'm gonna zoom back in. That's too far. Better, that's better. Okay, I'm turning the page. Okay. Um, so now we are going to take this flap and fold it over to the right. And now just uh, sink it. So, so I'm gonna open this part up and push it in like this and close it back up. So that was a sink. Same thing on this side. So fold it over, open it up, push it in, close it up. Okay. Just neatening it up a little bit because my, 
center edges, uh, these two things were overlapping, but I fixed it. Okay, now we have this, now we have this. Okay, so now we are going to, okay, we're, we're gonna, it's technically an outside reverse fold, I think. We're gonna take this paper, this triangle of paper, and wrap it around this thing using these this crease, okay? Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, make sure the crease that we're using is creased hard so you'll be able to well, locate it during this step. So here it's, it's a little messy here. I'm going to neaten it up. Just like that. Um, oh, this unfolded itself a little bit. Fix that easily though. There we go. Okay, we'll have this. I mean, if you've done everything correctly, so. Oh, the inside looks like that, like that. Oh, that's wrong. Should be like this, there we go. Um, and then, then we have this, this triangle. Uh, okay, so for the next step, we are going to open this part up. Okay, and when we open it up, you'll have you'll have the center edge. Okay, you're gonna have the center edge, and what we need to do is sink the center using the creases that we've already made as guidelines. Um, so if we just open it up a little bit, I need to get this part in camera. So all right, open it up, stick your finger in there, and just like spread the center edge out, and then you'll be able to you'll be able to collapse the center using the creases we've already made, like this. And I, I'm aware it's hard to see in there. Maybe I can turn flash on for a little bit. All right, flash is turned on, maybe that'll help. So if you can see in there, I am, I'm collapsing this center edge like that. Um, it should be the same thing. So we have this, we have this triangle here. We want the same triangle up there. Just like that. So if you guys can see that, that's what the inside looks like. That's what you need to get the inside edge to look like. And you can collapse it. Uh, how are we collapsing it? Like this, we're collapsing it like this. The one, the one step keeps wanting to unfold itself, but all right, there we go. Okay, so there we go. That was that was kind of a tough step, but not really. Um, this is what the inside looks like. This is what the other side looks like. Here, maybe you guys can see that. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to pull out the flap and collapse it down. Um, so we're pulling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, this is this is the toughest step of the whole thing. So, um, yeah. So this step we have to. So this this part, this flap right here. This flap is like locked, it's like stuck inside the, the main part of it. So what we need to do is just, um, well, we need to pull it out. We're, we're basically, un yeah, we're unfolding the whole thing right now. Well, not the whole thing, but like this. And um, we need this to be a mountain fold, okay? So pop it out like that. Now, when we put it back together, 
we'll actually will be able to do this step um like that so this is now what the inside looks like and you can collapse it and you get this and that's exactly what we want um I'll do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. So if you didn't follow that, you have one more chance. So we're going to pull, we're gonna pull this flap and it's gonna be stuck, right? It's gonna be stuck in there. Well, if we unfold it and pop this, these two folds out like and into mountain folds. Uh, I'm using Kami paper, so that's why it's ripping. I didn't do anything wrong, but. So making these two folds, mountain folds, and now we can collapse it like this. Okay, so now this flap is free and we can just fold it down like that. All right, so that's easy. But it is hard to like figure that out because the diagrams don't really tell you how to do that. But anyway, now we have both of these flaps that are freed. Uh, we can collapse them using the creases that we already have. Um, so, so like this, Here we go. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And this is what the inside looks like. So this is the part I just, that I just like uh, collapsed. Okay. Um, fold it over, fold it over to the left, fold this over to the left and let's do it again on this side. So again, it's this edge, <clears throat> it's this edge and we're opening it up and just collapsing it using the creases we already have. So let's do it again. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna fold, now I'm gonna fold this stuff back over and we're left with this flap. So let's fold, oh no, 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 yep, we're doing the same same idea. Remember, we're wrapping it up around. So um, we're not just, we're not valley folding this up. We are, we are wrapping it around like this, uh, just like that. Okay. Uh, now we're repeating 11 to 15 and yeah. Okay. So, okay. So now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to, we're going to flatten this. Okay. And then we're going to pedal fold it. The creases should already be there though, but we're just uh, reinforcing them. And we're going to pedal fold it. Then we're going to unfold it. We're gonna un uh, wrap the we're gonna unwrap the flap that we just wrapped, and now we're gonna use those creases and collapse it. Here, let me like this. Now we'll get this. We can open it up and squash it. And just like a crane, we can or just like the bird base rather, fold this up and collapse the edges to the inside. Like that. All right, now we're actually making the crane or the mini crane at least. Uh, <clears throat> I can zoom in a little bit. So, First step is to fold these two edges. So the very top bottom. So the top edges, we're working with the top part and the bottom left and bottom right of that top part, we're gonna fold to the center. 
words can be difficult sometimes, my bad. Just like a crane, just like that. Okay, so once you have those two edges folded to the center, we are going to shift the two, two of the flaps on the right to the left. So one, two. Now we have this. Uh, same thing, we're going to fold the edges to the center. Like that. Same, exact same thing. Shift two edges to the left. One, two. So now we have this. Um, turn the page. And we're just going to fold this edge to the center. Or to the right, rather. Yeah. I guess that's the center. So we have that. Now fold all those edges to the right. And we're going to do a very, very similar thing to the left side. Um, so we're repeating 33 to 38. Okay, so we're folding this edge to the center. Oh, wait. Oh, I went, I went too far. Okay, I went too far. So we'll have this, right? Uh, we'll have this. Um, and we need to fold two flaps to the left, to the right, two flaps to the right. So one, two, we'll have this diamond. Now fold the edges to the center. This part's a little hard to teach, but you should be able to figure it out. Okay, so we have this. Now fold two flaps over to the right again. Fold this edge to the center. And fold an equal amount of flaps on the left and right side, so like that. Okay, now the fun part. Um, we are going to fold up the head and tail of this mini crane. So the uh, tail, or the head is this. And it's basically an inside reverse fold. Okay. And we can now fold up the tail. Like that. Pull it out a little bit. And fold down the head. These are all inside reverse folds. You guys should know how to make a crane. If you don't know how to make a crane, I don't really know what to tell you. Probably should look it up. Um, so we've got our, but now anyway, now we've got our mini crane, our little, little tiny crane. And we can fold down the wing a little bit, but you can do that later. Now for the big crane, now for the big crane. Let's zoom out. All right, we are going to, we're gonna fold this bottom corner all the way up to the top. So we're folding it in half, basically. Unfold. Okay, and now we are, we're taking this, this crease, this, this crease, and we're aligning it with the top left edge like this. Creating an angle bisector. There we go. And same thing for this side. There we go. All right. Now we are going to mount and fold this corner under. So we're, we're using the crease we already have. Again, same thing on this side. We're just gonna fold this uh, corner underneath using the crease we already have. And same thing for these two flaps. We are going to fold, we're gonna fold them behind like that. And like that. Awesome. 
Awesome. Okay, and now we can make our crane. We, we are, this is the square that we can make our crane with. So we're gonna collapse it into a primary base, preliminary base. Um, so we need a mountain fold here. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip it over and do a valley fold. I'm gonna flip it back over. It has become a mountain fold and now we can easily collapse it like this. So, okay. I'm gonna flip it over like this. Now we have our preliminary, preliminary base. I made a little mistake once, but which is why you see these creases. Once you have the preliminary base, it is very, very important to shift the flaps, okay? So we're going to, we're gonna fold this edge to the right. I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna fold this edge to the right. If you do not do this, your crane, he your crane head will be on the wing. So it is really, really, really important. That's three reallys um, that you do that, that you shift the flaps one to the right. Okay, so we'll have this. It's really thin on this side, really thick on this side. The part that opens up is facing you. And we are going to fold it like a crane. Fold, fold the bird base. So we're gonna fold this edge in. We're gonna fold this edge in. Okay. And while these two edges are in, we're gonna fold this triangle down. If you guys, it's just a bird base, honestly, but Anyway, uh, hopefully you know how to fold that. It'll be a little difficult because the paper's thick, but you should be able to do it. Now we're gonna fold this edge up and collapse the two edges to the center. And if you make the same mistake I did, it is an easy fix, do not worry. Um, so if, the, if, your, if your crane head appears on the wing, you, you know what to do. Um, so we have this diamond thing. Flip it over and do the same thing. Now, I already have the creases, so I'm just gonna do it. All right, so it's like, uh, a little messy. It's like this. Okay. Um, and you see the crane is right on the tip of one of the uh, flat things. All right, uh, now we're just gonna keep folding like a crane. So with the wings at the top, and these flaps at the bottom, we're going to fold this edge and this edge to the center. So one side, the, the tail side is gonna be easy. Um, the tail side's gonna be easy, but the head side will be slightly difficult. So when we're, when we're folding this, the paper will get thick, but it's okay. Just make sure you put, make sure you put, um, put it behind Put it behind the crane head. I mean, it'll, it'll be hard not to, to be honest. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Awesome. Okay, and now we basically only have one more step or two more steps, I guess. Uh, which is to reverse fold, inside reverse fold the tail up like this, just like a crane, and inside reverse fold the head up, just like a crane. Might be quite difficult because the paper is thick, but it'll be okay, hopefully. That's what I tell myself. Uh, okay, there we go. Fold the wings down. Right, so there we go. Here it is guys, the finished model, the finished crane headed crane. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys got through it. There, was a, there were a couple tricky steps, but it shouldn't have been too bad. If you want more models like this, uh, well, first, like and subscribe, but but check consider uh, consider checking out this book. It's called Outside the Box Origami. Uh, the link is in the description, but it has some really funny models in it. You should definitely check it out. 
I really hope you guys like the video and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. I just want to be with you. I just want to be